there's these things that kind of like should push all of us into them because they're not about our personality. They're about they lends itself to the vision you're going. What's up, guys? Welcome to another five minute fatherhood. This is a really fun episode, and that is that we one of the things I've noticed about virtually every single one of my friends who have become really invested in building a family team, they have suddenly also discovered their inner chef. And we want you guys to understand it is awesome to learn how to cook. Um, now, the reason why I think this is happening is because we talk a lot about fa family teams in general. They do most of their their really building of their team and experiencing and celebrating the team around the table. And so if you really want to experience that at an epic level, oftentimes it's not really a good idea just to sort of throw that vision on your wife and walk away. And so what a lot of guys have done is they've really gotten into cooking and figuring out ways to cook epic meals. And uh, it, today is the day and age to do that. So we want to give you guys a bunch of tips for how to discover your inner chef. So if this is not you and you're like, I don't like to cook, that's not my thing, think again. <laughs> like you may need to discover your inner chef. If you want to build a family team, you want to have an amazing table experience, begin to embrace the process of cooking epic meals. So these are five ways in which I have gotten excited about, uh, about cooking because that wasn't my thing growing up either, but I absolutely love it now. One is fire. I love fire. I love cooking around fire. <laughs> fire is a manly thing. If you want to get into fire, you want to get into like that stuff, like that can really get cause people to enjoy uh, uh, becoming more of a cook. Strategy. I love the strategy of figuring out how do I cook for 20 people an awesome main dish in under 30 minutes. That's a huge thing I love. Tools. The amazing tools that are out there to to cook. Jeff's going to talk about some of those. Yes. Flavors. I When I experience a flavor, an unforgettable flavor at somebody's house or at a restaurant, I'm like, how do do I reproduce that? Um, I want to taste that again. And so that's really gotten me excited. And then getting to coach my team. One of the greatest moments in terms of coaching a team is when we're in the in the kitchen and we're all trying to work together to cook an epic meal. So yeah, Jeff, I know you've embraced your inner chef. Like how did that work? And wh yes. what, are you, what are you doing these days? Well, I think one thing I would say, which is one of the biggest things is don't buy the lie that like, oh, I don't do that. There's actually like it's not a personality thing. It's actually like a vision and structure for your life thing. And what I mean by that is like, yeah. I would say the same thing. I don't, I didn't cook when I, when me and Alyssa got married, I don't, I didn't do it at all. I didn't like it. I didn't know how all of that, but it's funny how once you start stepping in, stepping into a particular lifestyle, certain things become more important to you and then you more desire them. So I desired yes. to learn how to cook. I desired to host more people because these things line up with being a family team, opening up our home, our, our home being a sacred space, our table being a sacred space, the table being really, really important when maybe it wasn't before, all these different things. So this kind of then lends yourself there. And, and this is true, I think, with a lot of family team stuff, right? Like another thing too is like, I'm not a planner, right? Like I don't like journals. I don't really like planning a ton. I don't write down a ton of things. But once I started living in the family team idea, then I started planning and journaling and getting organized. Like there's these things that kind of like should push all of us into them because they're not about our personality. They're about, they lends itself to the vision you're going, if that makes sense. And yes. so I loved that where I just like, I just started liking it and desiring it and seeing the joy of it and the blessing of it. So, so yeah, I probably do most of the cooking now in our family, if not almost all. Alyssa will kind of step in if I just need a, a break here and there. I mean, she'll do the morning meals and stuff like that, but I think I do most of the dinners and I love it. And another side effect of that too is like it really has alleviated her, right? It's really taken a lot yeah. of burden off of her. I think a lot of times, sometimes we always, you know, for no reason, I, and I don't think it's that helpful, see the wife as somehow, you know, that that's the thing that uh, they maybe are better at usually or whatever. But it's like, that's just not true or doesn't come from anywhere, right? And it's like, uh, you can actually alleviate your wife an immense amount by taking off kind of the meals off her plate. And I know Alyssa said that to me where she loves that. I like, it's like a double whammy. She gets to eat good food. She doesn't have to do the work. She likes that. I'm getting stoked on it. Um, so that, that's a huge one. And I would say like, yeah, it becomes more sacred and purposeful when you realize what it's about. So center the table, understand that that's a sacred centering kind of headquarter like place for your home, for hospitality, but also for your family. And then, yeah. And then like tools and things like that. Like I geek out, I, I I'm getting, I told Jeremy, I'm getting this camp chef grill here soon to be able to smoke and do all these things and reverse sear. And I just like, I research like crazy. I've probably honestly watched like three or four or 500 hours of YouTube videos on just like cooking. <laughs> like I just sit there for six hours sometimes when I'm really bored, not six hours, but I have done those binges before. <laughs> like I don't binge Netflix. I Speak binge cooking like YouTube channels. <laughs> right. And I just yes. like, I just watch them and I watch them and I watch them again. And then the next episode and how to do this and how to do that. And I just kind of think about it. And then I try it the next time I'm in the kitchen. So I would say that's a, but it's cool because then it, I can see a tangible play out of that yeah. to the blessing of my cult, the culture of our family. And so I think it's really fun to be able to see like, oh, 
I've leaned into this and it's not just for me. It's not a hobby, but it's actually blessed my family and blessed the people that come into our home. So I would just say, yeah, don't buy the lie that it's a personality thing. It's it's a skill and a practice just like anything. So you can learn it and it actually is really fun. There's a lot of joy in it. It can really bless your family team.